because, you know, let's be honest here, times are rough. Hey guys, now I don't know about you, but for me, life has gotten a little bit hectic. And quite frankly, it's gotten pretty difficult trying to find time to do the things that I enjoy doing, like, you know, putting puzzles together. Now, another thing that I cannot do at the moment is shop for puzzles like the way I used to. Because let's be honest here, guys, times are rough. And because of that, you have to set stricter limits on your budget. Now hit that like button if you can relate, just so that I know I'm not alone in this season. So yeah, currently I cannot shop like the way I used to, but you know what? That's okay. Because I do know that at home, I have quite a good selection behind me here to work from. So in this video, I wanna go over a bunch of sets that I really wanna get started on, which should be fun. I'm actually a little excited to kind of go through my shelves and talk about what I have coming up in the near future. But before that, let me finish this. Right, so I'm gonna try to make this a little organized. I'm gonna try to break it up into kind of like categories. But in terms of when I'm gonna start them and film them and publish them, there's gonna be no particular order in that sense. But enough of that, let's get on to it. First of all, I do wanna say that thank I have been very fortunate and thankful that I've had several collaborations since I started this channel. So let's start with that. I've done pin two, I've done cubic fun. And for the next uh, review video that I have coming out, which actually it should be the next review video that comes out, but I started filming this morning, the unboxing for these two sets that um, will be coming up soon. Now I had a company called Remarkable Gifts reach out to me and they actually let me pick out two sets from the two brands that they currently carry. The metal model kit is a timer and the other one is actually made out of wooden plastic and it's a treasure box, you know, which sound really cool to me. I thought these sets were beautiful. Now the website does describe their products as 3D puzzle sets. Now to me, if I was just going through a store and I found these, I would consider these uh, model building kits and the boxes actually do say that. But I mean, to be honest, I'm. I'm not really sure if there is a difference between 3D puzzle sets and building model kits. They're both kind of puzzles, right? You're putting them together a certain way. So yeah, I guess they would be considered uh, 3D puzzles, but I mean, if I'm talking crazy, let me know down below otherwise. But anyways, um, I've never done anything like this before. So you'll probably, you know, you're gonna notice in my next video when I actually review these, that I'm very timid during the beginning part of the video. I'm actually quite terrified in terms of, you know, how long is it gonna take me? Am I even gonna figure out how to put these together? Obviously it has the instructions, but I mean, I really don't know what to expect with these. You're, you're gonna see in that video, I'm, I'm quite scared of this. And quite honestly, I wasn't sure if I was gonna say yes to this collaboration, but I figured, you know what? It's always good to try new things and, you know, try things that are basically out of your comfort zone. And I encourage you all to do the same thing too, because you know, you never know, you might find a, a new hobby that you love. I don't know, I might really like these because quite honestly, they look amazing, especially the timer. I can't wait to see what this looks like when it's completed. Now, another company reached out to me recently as well, and I received their package, uh, I think it was last week or something. But again, this is something pretty new to me, but it gave me Lego vibes. Now, this company is called Mosabrick. Now, what this basically is, is you're creating a mosaic picture from a photo on your phone or for, from your computer. It, it's a photo construction set. And it looks like what you use here to build your mosaic is to me what looks like single pieces of Lego bricks. Now it's in no way affiliated with Lego. I mean, honestly, I don't even know if I'm supposed to use that word whilst describing this, but you know, that's, I'm just trying to come, you know, give you the best comparison that I can make here. But with this one, I am like really excited to try this out. And again, if this is anything like putting Lego together, this is gonna be fantastic, I love this. And in terms of comparing it to a puzzle, I mean, you are kind of piecing something together, right? So I figured, why not? That's something new, why not try it? 
especially considering this company is willing to connect with me in some way. I mean, why not take the opportunity, right? And really what I've loved most about doing these collaborations is for one, I'm gonna be honest, before they emailed me, I have never heard of any of those companies. And I love the fact that, especially with starting YouTube, I've been able to kind of really broaden my, how you say, broaden your my horizons and kind of expand from what I've usually done in my life in terms of doing puzzles. It's kind of like added on to the whole, you know, my whole puzzle journey experience, whatnot, if, if that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm making sense or if I'm just rambling here, but you know what I mean? Like, really, why not try new things? especially if it's being offered to you. And on that same note, if there are any brands of puzzles or puzzle styles that you want me to try out for the channel, please let me know down below because I am more than willing and open to trying new things so that you guys can see what I think to it. So that's it for the collaborations currently. Now let's get into what I really, really enjoy doing on this channel, which is reviewing brands that I've never tried before. So one of the next brands that I really wanna try out very soon is, and I'm gonna quickly shop my shelf here a bit, and hopefully I can move back and you can still see me in the camera, I don't know. But I definitely wanna try out a puzzle from Springbok. And many of you have mentioned this brand to me and spoken about their quality. So I'm really interested in trying out this particular set because you know, I love farm stands. I love farmer's markets. I love food in general. And this image is absolutely gorgeous. That's probably my farm stand if I even knew how to successfully grow fruits and vegetables. But anyways, aside from that, I'm really curious to see how these puzzles fit, what their quality is like, what their print looks like. And I do have another spring box here that I bought um, a while back that was on, it was on clearance from Hobby Lobby, but I think this is the one I wanna do first. Now, another um, puzzle, you know what? Let me stop throwing these everywhere and put them back where they belong before I make a mess of my shelf. Now, another puzzle that I wanna do is one by Spin Masters Puzzles. And this has been sat on my shelf for a while as well. I mean, pretty much most of these have been sat on my shelf for a while. So really, I've had no excuse to buy more puzzles. But anyways, there's something about this image that just makes me very excited to get it started. Probably because it reminds me of my all-time favorite computer game growing up, which was the Oregon Trail. And I just love the scenery in this image. But aside from the image, I'm really excited to see what these pieces feel like, how it fits, how the print looks, does it have glare, is it gonna drive me nuts? You know, like, it's, it's exciting. I just think this one is gonna be a lot of fun to put together. And then the other set that I'd like to start working on soon is from Gallison. And the reason why I also picked this one to do pretty soon is because one of you guys have um, actually mentioned or asked me to review a Gallison puzzle. And this one is from their Good Puzzle Company collection. And of course, I mean, come on, look at this image. Who doesn't love theme parks? I absolutely adore theme parks. Not only because of the rides, but really mainly for the food. And this one's only 500 pieces, so I feel like this will be a good one that I can do fairly quickly. I mean, at least I hope I can do it fairly quickly. Now there are um, a few other sets that I have here from brands that I haven't tried before. And you know, who knows, I might change it up throughout the next few months. I might add on more, you know, to the list of things I wanna get done soon. But as of right now, those are the three that I kinda like wanna jump into pretty soon. Now I wanna quickly go over a few sets from brands that I have tried before and would like to try again. And one of the definite first ones that I wanna do is, has to be Robinsberger. Now I reviewed my first Robinsberger puzzle not too long ago. And if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna leave a link down below for it. And that review overall really wasn't what I expected. So I definitely wanted to try that brand again sooner rather than later. Whilst that whole experience, you know, was still kind of fresh in my mind. So I currently have about five or six Ravensburger sets in total. But the next ones that I want to do is from the Villainous series. 
I have the Maleficent, I have Gaston, and I have the Evil Queen. Now, in terms of which one of these three I am going to try, I don't know yet. And that might be a decision I leave for you guys. So be on the lookout at some point for a poll on my community post page. And again, that'll turn up at the point when I'm ready to start one of these bedes. Now, another Disney puzzle set that I wanted to try um, wasn't on my shelf. I just had to grab it from my other bookcase. But I have been really looking forward to completing this one. And this is actually a Disney branded puzzle. Not to be confused with the Disney Seiko puzzle because Disney does offer really pretty Thomas Kincaid sets that they sell in their hotels and theme parks. And you would think they were Disney branded, but for the longest, I didn't realize that those particular puzzle sets were actually produced by Seiko. But this one, this is actually a Disney branded puzzle. And I picked this one up. I believe it was at the Art of Animation Resort when I was there in 2021, or it could have even been at the World of Disney store in Disney Springs. But th these Disney branded puzzles are $24.99. They are not cheap. At least to me, that's not cheap. But of course, you got to treat yourself when you're there, right? But anyways, I absolutely love this image. It has each of the Disney Park icons in the image. You got Mickey, Minnie, and friends. This is too much fun. And honestly, I have been itching so bad to complete a Disney puzzle. Hence why with the Ravensburger, I want to do one of the vil villainous ones. But I think before I even do that, I really want to complete this puzzle. So this has been sitting on my shelf for two years and I haven't touched it. So I think it's about time that we get into this one very soon. Tell me, when you go to Disney World, do you like to go crazy shopping for their puzzle sets? Because I'm pretty sure if, you know, I have piles of money laying around, I would probably pick up every single set that I find. But anyways, I can go on and on about Disney puzzles. Let's move on. Now this next puzzle brand, I had my first experience in one of like my earliest videos. And I actually haven't done another one from that brand since. So I figured, you know what? I think it's about time. And I'm talking about a set from Buffalo Games. But in terms of which particular set I want to do here, I don't know. I have an Amy Stewart. I have a Chuck Pinson. I have more Charles Wasaki. I have Kim Norlian, Terry Redlin, a Vivid Collection. So again, I'm not really sure which particular set I want to complete from that brand. And who knows, it might be another poll that I put out for you guys to pick for me because I, I can never make a decision. Now let's see, we went over collabs, we went over brands that I haven't tried before, We've done brands that I have tried before. Now I kind of want to get into more of like other fun kind of stuff. I don't really know what category to put this in. This is, this is the random category. But I definitely want to start a puzzle from my used pile. And I've been kind of putting it off for a while because like I've mentioned in those particular hauls, I'm afraid I'm going to be missing pieces. And I know it's not a big deal to some of you, but to me, I mean, I just can't fathom taking the time going through complete a puzzle and then in the end, never really completing it because you're missing pieces. I just find that so sad, but that's just me. I know it's gonna happen one day and I'm gonna have to deal with it and that's okay. But anyways, of those used puzzles, I definitely wanna do one of the hometown collection sets. And these were the stinky puzzles that I got from eBay. Now again, I'm not sure which set I want to start with first. That just might be another poll for you guys to vote on. But I absolutely love the artwork from these sets. These particular ones are from the Heronym collection. Actually, speaking of smelly sets, the smell is pretty much gone. You have to be really close to it. But I, I don't know, was that kind of weird? Let me stop smelling them, I look strange. But anyways, these particular sets, I'm, I'm pretty darn certain that at least one of these sets are, are going to be missing pieces. But you know, who knows? I might get lucky and they might all be there. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see, right? Either way, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have fun putting those images together because they're just, they're too cute. Now, one of the things that I really want to accomplish is completing a larger puzzle set. 
And what I mean by that is, well, you've only ever seen me do puzzle sets up to 1000 pieces. I've never actually gone beyond that puzzle count. So pretty darn soon, I'm considering working on one of my larger count puzzle sets. And again, I still don't know which one I wanna do first. For the millionth time, it might be a poll that I need you guys to vote on for me. I know, I can't make my own decisions. But the real reason why I don't know which one to pick is because I love all of them. For one, they're all Disney, so that's like 1,000 times motivation right there. But what intimidates me the most is uh, the piece count. But then again, you know, again, I gotta put my big girl pants on and like start doing some serious stuff now. Because one of my ultimate goals is to purchase and complete one of the like massive puzzle count sets. I'm talking like in the thousands and thousands of pieces. And I'll get there, I know I will, but you know, how long that'll take, I don't know, we'll see, right? I might pick one up very soon, I might pick one up in a few years, I don't know. What I do know is that they're extremely expensive and my budget does not allow for that. I mean, to be honest, my budget at the minute doesn't even allow me to get one of these simple sets right here. But, you know, what can you do, right? Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is something that a lot of my other puzzle YouTube buddies uh, have been working on, and that is speed puzzling. It is something that I have obviously never done before. I have no clue how to go about it. And quite honestly, scares the pants out of me, which is probably a, a pretty silly thing to feel, but you know, that's just me. Let me know down below if you feel the same way about speed puzzling. I've always been one to kind of like, obviously puzzle at my own pace and kind of take the image in and, and enjoy it as I put it together. So this is really something, obviously, once again, out of my comfort zone, but it's something that I feel like I need to try because it's a pretty big thing in the puzzling world. I mean, there's, there's competitions for this. Now, will I ever get to competition level? Most likely not, and that's okay. But I think, you know, something you gotta try, right? And who knows, maybe with practice, I'll get really good at it, or I might really suck at it, I don't know. But I feel like out of all the sets that I have here, I think the best way for me to go about starting that whole journey is probably working on one of these sets that I have from Seiko. And the reason why I say that is because for one, we have five different sets here. We have one at 300 piece, we have two, actually two 300 piece, we have two 500 and one 750. And to me, I mean, these images seem pretty straightforward to work on when you're, you know, trying to start out speed puzzling. I feel like my best bet would be maybe starting out with a 300 piece set here and then, you know, kind of work my way up through the sets in this box. And another reason why I feel this would be great is for one, because uh, it's Disney, you know I love Disney, and that's gonna be a lot of motivation for me. And again, who knows? I might be, you know, super bad at it, or I might be, you know, the best in the world, which is, you know, most likely not the case, but you never know. But if any of you have tried speed puzzling before, let me know down below, what was your first experience like? But I'm pretty sure that if I end up really liking speed puzzling, you know, I'm obviously gonna wanna buy more and more sets that I can work on and try to build up my speed. But one thing at a time, right? Now, in terms of other videos that I wanna share with you guys, I really wanna work on a video basically going over like, I guess you can say a wish list or a list of puzzle sets from brands that I haven't tried before or that I'm really interested in learning more about and sets in general that I just really can't wait to get at some point. Now, I know I mentioned earlier that, you know, times are rough and I can't go puzzle shopping crazy, but don't think for a second that it means that I'm not gonna shop for anything at all. If anything, now I am super motivated to really check out other thrift stores in my area and also hit up stores that I know sell really inexpensive sets. So be on the lookout for more thrift shop with me videos. It's also flea market season, it's yard sale season. So, you know, bargains are out there. We just gotta go find them, right? But I will be taking you along with me on those journeys. So if you are new here, be sure to subscribe so that you could tag along with me on those trips. And so that you can also see what I have to say about all the sets that I showed you today and more. Anyways, guys. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you are all doing well and I will see you in the next one.